Hi friends, Tracy from All Things Real Estate. And on today's 368 Real Estate Journal, I'm just gonna turn to a page. I need this today because I feel a little scattered for a Monday. Let's see, 317, host a webinar for a chef or a CPR instructor, something other than real estate. I love that. And then 316 is, do you have a slideshow presentation for listing appointments or for buyers? If so, how can you step it up a notch or two? I'm going to actually talk about some cool things for you instead of for us today on how and the reasoning behind number 317, hosting a webinar. Or this can even be, it could be on, it could be in person as well. So it doesn't have to be just a webinar, but... The intention was that you are participating in the community, you're giving them something that they need. Doing things other than talking about real estate is really important because people don't always want to hear about the market or because maybe they're not even interested in buying or selling right now. Yeah, everybody's curious about what's happening, but they're getting that information from so many other places. It's good to also give the community something they could use and something they could utilize and something that you can be a normal person around them and not just always a realtor. So that's why I came up with this one for you all, just to think about that. So I'm gonna give you a few ideas here besides doing a chef, like you could do a cooking night. You could do the CPR instructor. I really love that because you can hire an instructor to come in and it doesn't have to be CPR, it could be first aid. It could be like emergency preparedness, things like that. But look to maybe even asking your community or your your people do a survey what I want to bring a class to you what are you interested in and give them like three or four options or ideas so I'm um, also what are a couple of other ideas that you could do maybe you live in a lake community and you could offer a boating or you live in an area where you need there's a lot of motorcycles. You could do like a motorcycle, a motorcycle licensing class or something like that. So really think about what your community does. I'm going to write these things down like a boating class. I'm going to say anything that requires a license. And then maybe you're not offering the class on getting the license, but maybe you're offering the class on how to get your license. It's like taking a driving class and then taking your license. You could offer that class, but you could also offer a class on what does it mean to get your license and like the how-to. Maybe you bring an expert into the community that can come and talk to your people about that. Maybe you do the research yourself and share what you learned. So those are a couple of good ideas. And then also thinking outside the box, what else could there be? Could be how to sign your kids up for Little League. Things like that get really overwhelming. Maybe there's some stuff that your kids participate in that you've gotten really good at signing them up and remembering to get them signed up in time and what they need for, ooh, what if you did the, a cleat exchange or everybody brings in their old cleats and then grabs a different size, a cleat exchange. <laughs> it's like a clothing swap, something like that. So really just reach into what you do and what you're already doing and what you're really good at. And then either, like I said, teach the class yourself or, or bring somebody in. So those are a few good ideas for number 317. I really like this one. Have a good one.